Welcome everyone, time for a quick video. Today's subject is the RXSR. It's a new little free sky receiver, full range, smaller than a XM Plus pretty much. I'm going to need to flash this to be international. Which one do we open? Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Well, that's small, isn't it? There's your thumbnail image. Okay, we've got the full cable, ground, 5 volt, yellow is S port, green is S bus out. And this has redundancy, which is why S bus in. Anyway, with this comes a separate cable that takes the S port straight to a servo header that's great for flashing, nonetheless. Anyway, gonna crack on and stop waffling. I'll try and bind it up as it is, pretty sure it won't work, but then I'll go through the process of flashing it. Okay, obviously that didn't. Um, like the bind, so time to put the RXSR firmware on here, international, and then flash it to the receiver. Cue the desktop recording. Alright. Firmware. So we need 17.10.09. Easiest way to get the firmware on here, hold the sticks to Together, quick press on there, and now straight in as a mass USB device. Firmware folder, I want the FCC, not the LBT. Just drag and drop that on there. Right, done. Long press on menu, page once, just check the firmware showing up. RXSR FCC 17.10.09 FRK OK Get my other cable wherever it's gone I'm probably blind There it is As you see I've already labelled it Bottom S port Negative and voltage Third pins from below Right This header is back to front I need to swap this header around Excuse me Right, my transmitter is running on the standard uh, NICAD battery or nickel metal hard drive. Just want to verify the voltage input, three and a half to ten volts input range, because you are getting VCC from this port here. Right, long press on menu, page once to firmware, RXSR, press and hold into flash external device. The lights are this way up. Writing, there you go. Green light flashing, red light on. Hopefully, this is all in frame. That looks to be complete. Seems sick. Well, these UFL connectors are crap, aren't they? Vanity glue on there. Wow. Get all this in shot. That looks to be successful. Run the. This is on Beta Flight 3.0, um, so time to give it an update. Right, that's flashed. Right then, fingers crossed. Oop. There we go, that AETR, or not JR, or TAER. Alright, we now have international firmware on here. Quick click, that's fail safe set, so throttle's up at 13.35, power the transmitter off, it should drop throttle back down to, yeah, okay. And just to be on the safe side, in here, Fail safe. Leave it as receiver. Alright. Well, that concludes how to put international firmware on the RXSR the long winded way, wasting most of your night. But thanks for watching. I hope this has helped. This will be in a armor turn soon. Crashing into the ground at full bore, <laughs> no doubt. Um, I might. Put some glue on here. Save a shit. Oh, just heat shrink. 
thanks for watching. See you later. Take care. Yeah, fellow. Hey.